five anti-tank mines is a lot of Gs. That's gotta be like not good for you number of Gs. Look at this moron. Look at this moron. Oh, he is out of here. We've got a new world record. You didn't see anything. You didn't see anything. You didn't see anything. And most of all, you didn't see anything. <laughs> Thank you to CI Games for sponsoring this video. You can buy Sniper Ghost Warrior contracts via the link below. Siberia! A wonderful place that isn't exactly warm and isn't exactly safe. I grew up in Yakutsk. Minus 14 no! And especially right now, because the Siberians got sick and tired of forking over natural resources and providing land for gulags that all of Siberia said fuck work. Made their own country through a war of independence with Russia, and now they've got a new leader, Nergoy Kurchatov. Kurchatov became Siberia's first prime minister governing his new country with his family and friends. And these family and friends? Not a good crowd. We're talking war criminals, drug traffickers, syndicate bosses. To us, it's crimes against humanity. To them, it's just Wednesday afternoon. He earned the nickname Bio Ivanovsky during the Second Mongolian War due to his persistent use of both chemical and biological weapons. That's where you come in, as Seeker, a nameless, faceless contract killer ready to crush this rebellion like a fortune cookie with a guidance of your trusty handler. My designation will be handler. Yours will be seeker. And who needs a face when you've got a mask, especially when this high tech. It's got binoculars, echolocation, real-time threat evaluation. This is the most useful thing you can slap on your face if you're out to murder half of Siberia. The future is now, comrade. It is a highly advanced prototype that enhances your capacity in the field and syncs with your equipment. The mask allows you to upload contracts data to the client after each mission. Sounds complicated. Really, it's not. Take the binoculars, for example. 36 times zoom, built in spotter and rangefinder, everything you need to always hit the perfect shot. Oh, that's cash. That's so dramatic. <laughs> Plenty of the game, this is your bread and butter. Range somebody up, adjust your scope for bullet drop, factor in wind, take a deep breath, and squeeze. And here we go. Oh, that is a nosebleed and a half. Sounds basic, sounds straightforward, but I'm here to tell you that things are as simple or as complicated as you want them to be. Hence my excessive anti-tank mine use. Hey champ, you might want to watch your- <laughs> And the story of how I became a pedantic AT mine spamming maniac is also the story of this video. So let's start from the beginning. Greetings, Seeker. Dmitry Ivanovsky. The war criminal from earlier. What's contract number one? He's making bioweapons, experimenting with human trials. The guy's gotta go. And it's the perfect opportunity for me to start testing out gear. Yo! Flashbang! Flashbang! Yeet? Fine, just die then. My raffle knife goes slice. I think it's even good. Oh, shit. And after completing all the contract terms, I found myself with a sizable amount of cash that I could use to buy weapons, kit them out, upgrade my suit, upgrade my mask, and on and on, which is when I found this one. Anti-tank mine can also be triggered by enemy soldiers. Oh god, I'm really gonna make him regret this one. Yeah. Anti-tank mines, as in designed to make tanks explode, now applicable to meat-based life forms. Now we're cooking with gas, fellas. So I caught myself a new pistol and played the contract over again. Is it even gonna work? Oh, oh shit! <laughs> For science, we're gonna see if we can shoot it to blow it up. What was that bounce? What? The so satisfying. Ivanovsky is so lucky that I'm out of AT mines. Like if I had AT mines right now, ooh, it would be such a different story. Gotcha. After that, it was off to the races. I went on to contract two, or you've got to scrag the CEO of an oil company who loves to party, and his wife, who also loves to party, and is also Kurchatov's sister. As they sabotage oil rigs with this big ass ice breaking ship to take over disputed territories in the Arctic. And you already know what my weapon of choice was. So I stacked them instead of spreading them out to see if his trajectory changes. <laughs> Oh my god, that man is a football! He was designed to fly! He made it to the water! But then I caught myself. I was like, CI Games is gonna think I'm the weirdest moron on Earth if I just finish every contract by murdering thousands with AT mines. I've gotta add some variety. So first, I went sniper. That is a big 
stolen. Then I went ghost. Capitalism, yeah. Mother Contracts, yeah. My toxic babes are in position. Then I went warrior by literally running up point blank for a collateral with a 50 cap. Got the headlights on the highway. Now yeah, you get what I'm saying. You can make things as simple or as complicated as your heart desires. Whether it's a bullet in the brain from 500 meters or an explosion from five shape charges designed to pierce several inches of armor being used on a fleshy meat bag. You know, just casually walking into AT mines. Oh my lord, that's like an involuntary astronaut. To broaden my horizons a little beyond violent explosions on the third contract where mob bosses Petroshenko and Dorjev are meeting to settle a dispute over who gets control of Western Siberia, I went for the stealthiest rifle in the whole game, the KSV. The satisfaction. Listen to that. This is like Grand Ping level. Like, oh man. It's like... It's like a pair of shears, or like a stapler. It sounds like a stapler. Shit, it's one of- Listen to that. That- this is ridiculous. Me hitting shots across the office. Despite my attraction to the hole punch allure of the KSV staple gun, I still couldn't break my compulsion to the mines. This is- Gotta stop. Flat these two. Stop those camera. Rock throw. Armor piercing. Chunky's helmet. Door cam. Balcony guy. Five mines down. Roof guy. And here we go. Ah! Wow, the hang time. I really did not get it underneath oh, them enough. Uh... Ah! Better? Better? Definitely better. Ah! Oh, I didn't quite get underneath them. It's just for the challenge. It's just for the challenge. It's just for the steam challenge. Thankfully, I was able to break my compulsion due to some targets being indoors because I found bouncing around like a paintball in a confined space to be far less amusing. Oh, he went off the ceiling. Yeah, indoors is no good. I'm sorry, friendo. This is the endo. You're gonna wanna pack some heat on contract four because Dr. Antanasia Alikanova has been genetically engineering children into super soldiers, as if the vegetables at the grocery store just weren't enough. This time she will alter DNA that controls height, strength, and intelligence to improve the stock of the Siberian people. And much like the best Russian sniper that I know, this time around, the stakes, they're higher. The stakes. Mine are higher. Because she is so terrified of being murdered by your hands, seeing as I've already wiped like half of Siberia, that she has a surgically enhanced body double that looks identical to her just to throw you off. Following the recent assassinations, she has hired a body double to stand in for her and conceal her real movements. This double is wearing a device that will trigger an alert if she is killed, warning Antanasia of imminent danger. So I dispense with the subtle tactics and ice them both at the same time. I can see two of her. We don't know which is the real doctor. Like Somewhere it's gonna matter. They're both in the same us. place and these are explosive rounds. Like I give a shit. Double. That was the real doctor. Congratulations. Duh! What's the point of a body double if you're ever gonna be in the same place at the same time? God, I love using my brain. Think, think. Brilliant. Before you ask, yes, I tried the AT mines on both her and her body double, and they both suck at flying. God, why do you always just disintegrate? Not only did this contract give me a hearty chuckle from the banter with the handler, there's a heavy military presence here. They obviously fear an attack. Your recent efforts have put them on alert. And how will these doctors' deaths help the client? Am I to remind you we're talking eugenics here? But more importantly, it gave me a full understanding of the M8250 cal, which compared to the KSV is the complete opposite end of the scale. Instead of maximum stealth, it is maximum danger. Oh, full cinematic. I got to see myself in third person. And it hits like a baseball. First of all, half the kill cams I can't show you because the energy behind a 50 caliber in this game makes enemies explode like watermelons in a gigantic burst of demonetization, so I am only showing a glimpse of the full experience.
second of all, no suppressor allowed on this thing, which can be a positive because it hits like a sledgehammer where even body shots are lethal, but let's be real. Is this subtle? Is this subtle to you? Is some asshole in a hoodie blasting his 50 semi-auto hard to spot? Give me a break. You may as well just give the bad guys a UAV. Oh god. Oh god, you poor, poor, sad sap. Oh no. This thing hits so hard that almost every other rifle has to swap to armor piercing bullets to penetrate the armor of those Tachaka looking dudes. Man, that is so sharp. I almost feel bad for this guy. Almost. Yet an ordinary 50 cal out of the M82 will tear through any armor in a single shot. Sterling Archer was right. This thing could kill a building. Chuck, will you stop? I'm trying to sn Oh, he's about to get it. Oh, no, <laughs> babe, that's a regular round. I'll stop gushing about it now. Final point, it can use DARPA rounds, also known as Exacto or Extreme Accuracy Test Ordnance, AKA, fuck you physics, this bullet aims itself. Oh my God, everybody ganks until Seeker racks a DARPA round. That is lights out. Look at this, just click on his head. Just no wind, no bullet drop, no nothing. I'm just gonna give you a billion dollars to make me a bullet where physics do not apply. Look at the velocity of this thing. It's such a shame that I only get five of these. Imagine what I can do with 10 of them. Imagine what I can do with 50 of these. The future is now, old man. The future is now, old man. If you're running the M82, may as well run the Glock too. It's just as subtle. Found you. Subtlety! Y'all, yeet. Great work, boss. This is why you're the best. Now you get what I'm talking about, though. It's a sliding scale from the ultra staple gun stealth of the KSV to the I am going to make your DNA cower in fear danger of the M82. With plenty of weapons in between those two extremes all throughout the game. Same goes for assault rifles and pistols, though I recommend you check out either the M9 or M23, which is the 45 the Germans get in Rainbow Six. Super stealthy, super satisfying, especially when you cheese with your mask ability. Listen, 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 listen. See, it makes me feel like IQ, but not shitty. Without mask? Satisfying. With mask? We're under attack. Everybody looks like they're Tang. You guys even know what Tang is? And I think I'm gonna stop there. I've already beaten the game three times, and I don't want to spoil the final mission for you with Gorchatov. I don't want to ruin some of the landscapes, and I especially don't want to show you every rival and bounty that's talking shit. Oh, here it comes! Bullseye! That's over 500 meters out. How does it feel, big boy? How does it feel? I'm so relieved that I managed to make a somewhat coherent video that wasn't just anti-tank mind-based humor. I was a whisker away from making this whole thing footage of people transforming into human chicken nuggets. Human? Human? Chicken nuggets! Explode! Explode! Nice, the helicopter. I've really only shown you four of the primary contracts. You still got 25 contracts in total on five unique maps that you can play any way you like with dismemberment far beyond what I've shown you. This has been an absolute fucking blast. You should hear from us soon, Seeker. And that's about it. I'd like to thank you so very much for watching. A final thank you to CI Games for sponsoring this video. So don't forget, you can pick up the game down below and be sure to tune in next time when I get a body double. I say it, I don't want you to leave.